नाउ वी विल अंडरस्टैंड वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ कौन ए कौन इज ए थ्री डायमेंशनल ज्योमेट्रिक शेप इट इज मेड अप ऑफ ए फ्लैट बेस विच इज यूजली इन द शेप ऑफ ए सर्कल द शेप ऑफ द कौन गेट्स नैरोअर स्मूथली फ्रॉम द सर्कुलर बेस to a pointed top you can see that the shape of the cone is slowly and slowly getting narrower and it is forming a pointed top the shape of the cone looks like an ice cream cone as well as like a traffic cone which you might have seen at the traffic signals which are for the purpose of controlling the traffic now there are two common types of cones in mathematics first is right circular cone and the second is oblique cone now we will discuss each of these cones in some detail first is right circular cone right cone is a cone in which the base is circular and the apex that is the pointy part is directly above the center of the base you can see here that this pointy part is directly above the center of the base the axis of the right cone which is a straight line and passing through the apex and the center of the base is perpendicular to the base it means that this line which is attaching the base center of the base with the pointy part is having 90 degree angle at the base now this second cone which we will discuss is oblique cone this cone is the cone in which this pointy part is notly not directly above the center of the base you can see here that if this if we assume that this is the center of the base then this pointy part is not directly above if we raise the direct see directly above the center of this base this will come here but its pointy part is here so this if we join this part with this it will not be in forming a 90 degree angle so instead the axis is slanted in relation to the base so the shape of oblique cone is not perfectly straight or symmetrical and this cone looks like a slanted cone or a tilted cone now the radius of the base is denoted by the letter r the slant height of the right circular cone is the distance from the apex to any point on the perimeter of the base perimeter means the boundary line of the base it means that if we me measure the distance from the apex that is the pointy part to any part on the perimeter of the base it will be the slant height which will be denoted by l the height of the right circular cone is the distance from this apex to the center of the base you can see here that from here to here this is the height and is denoted by the letter h now we will again discuss slant height in a right circular cone the height h radius r and the slant height l are related by the pythagorean theorem which states that l square is equal to r square plus h square this relationship can be used to calculate any of the three values if the other two are known it means that suppose we have been given in an any mathematical question the value of r and the value of l then we can calculate the value of h how we can calculate 
from this formula we can calculate h square is equal to l square minus r square because from here r square will go to this side and it will become minus if suppose if we have been given the value of h as well as l that is the height and slant height in any question then we can calculate the value of r how we can calculate r square will is equal to l square minus h square that is radius square is equal to slant height square minus height square so you can see that height h slant height l and radius r related to each other and the formula is this one next you can you will also observe that we have already uploaded many courses such as tips for crafting engaging speeches good communication skills how to manage stress in our life job application format unlocking the power of mental wellness mastering huron's formula most common mistakes in english grammar 13 useful re resume writing tips what must be in your cv resume bio data present tense past tense future tense and many courses on cyber security you can also look out for the same thanks for watching if you like our course please spare some time to give a star rating to our course